Hello, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll go into using TypeScript with React components and learn exactly how to type a React functional components and React class components. Now, before we actually start diving into uh, the examples and the explanation of how to use functional and class components with TypeScript, I actually want to get a little technical and dive into the actual type definitions of both the functional components and the class components. The first part of this video will focus on functional components, uh, their type definitions, an example. The second part of the video will go into class components, the type definitions, and an example. Let's get started. Here we are at the type definition of a functional component. We'll be using type FC, which you'll see is really uh, the interface for function component. Now function component takes a generic prop type of P. That P uh, are the props. You'll see that P gets passed into props with children. If we uh, quickly scan the file for props with children, you'll see here that um, it just basically takes in props and injects a uh, type reference for children, and children being a React node. Now, with that information, let's go to an example and figure out exactly how to use it. Let's go into our terminal, and we'll create a new React application using TypeScript with create React app. Now, as I explained in the last video, the way to create a new React application with TypeScript using create React app is the following command. MPX create React app. We'll call this project TypeScript with components. Of course, you can call it whatever you want. Dash dash TypeScript. You press enter and you'll see the create React app uh, interface. Go ahead and download all the necessary packages and tell you it's finished when it's ready. With the magic of YouTube, I'll stop the video here and come back when we're all ready. So we are all installed. I'm going to go ahead and open the new project in VS Code using the terminal command code. Uh, you'll see the new VS Code application open up. On the left-hand side here, we can go ahead and open app.tsx. You'll see that app.tsx is already pre-typed with react.fc, which we agreed would be the type we use to type functional components. Now, let's actually go ahead and learn to use props with our functional component. Uh, just a reminder that um, functional components won't be using any states, so we don't need to worry about that. So I'm going to have a prop here called your name, and you'll see your name is declared never read, that's fine, but uh, your name doesn't exist on type children react node, and that's because we didn't pass any props here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave that error there for now, and we'll fix that in a bit. We'll make the uh, text read, hello, your name. Just like that, and I'm going to go ahead and try to run this VS code. And if you remember, for create React app, the uh, start command is just npm start. You'll see that we can't even compile our code given this error. TypeScript will not allow it, which can get annoying, but I think in the end leads to higher quality code. You should type your code if you're using uh, TypeScript. So let's make a uh, type called app props, and uh, that'll take that'll have your name defined as a string. Let's go ahead and save that, and you see that we recompile. However, uh, oh, we need to apply those app props. Of course, it won't work until they're applied. So let's save that. TypeScript will go ahead and recompile. And you'll see that your name is uh, necessary here to be passed into app because you said there definitely will be a your name uh, property in props and it'll be defined. So let's go ahead and just define your name 
in index.tsx. So here, you'll see that um, our autocomplete tells us that it needs your name. I'm going to go ahead and put my name in here. And finally, the compilation is successful. Let me go ahead and bring in my application from my other monitor. And voila, our functional component works. Now, I know what you're asking. What if we don't want to require your name? What if we want it to be an optional prop? Well, that's as easy as putting a question mark here. And let's go ahead and test it out by deleting the prop. And you'll see when we re-render, the your name prop is missing, but our comp compiler does not complain. Uh, just a word of advice, if you're going to make a prop optional, give it a default value. So we can put, save that, and that's how we give our prop a default value using object destructuring that has nothing to do with TypeScript. That's a JavaScript uh, feature. So we go back here, and you see that our code recompiles and shows us the hello Arian with the default prop used. Now that we understand exactly how to use TypeScript with functional components, let's go ahead and use them with class components. Here you see the interface for component takes three generic types. The first generic type is P, that's for props. So the first, again, generic types for props. Second is for state. And the third is for a snapshot. And snapshot, you'll see, is used in the component lifecycle type, which we'll find down here. And let's go down to the lifecycle methods in uh, component did update. Once I find it. Right, component did update, you'll see here, uh, snapshot is taken in as the third parameter, and that's the uh, SS generic prop. So using the functional component we previously practiced with, I'm going to turn app into a class component with the same exact props for now, so bear with me as I do that. Class app goes ahead and extends react.component. As we said, react.component takes a generic type of uh, props as the first generic type. Um, these are not defined. I'll take that out. I need a render method. Save that. And uh, this here is not your name, but this.props dot your name and we are all compiled successfully let's go back here and you'll see that um, it is rendering successfully of course we want to practice with state so I'll add state to our react component it'll just be a basic minus button a plus button and a counter your uh, typical React state example. So let's add a button, which is a minus sign. Let's add a button, which is a plus sign. And let's display this.state.count. Uh, we'll handle uh, minus press. And this will set the state. And our count will be this.state.count minus one. Very similarly, we'll have a function that handles the plus press, uh, this.state.count plus one, and let's take these two and let's hook them up to our buttons on click equals the handlers respectively. Now, you'll see that the handle minus press and handle plus press are not defined. We need to have a this dot in front of it. And lastly, TypeScript will complain 
that it has no idea what the count is. As we said before, React component, I'm sorry, the component type takes in uh, three generic types. The first is props, the second is state, the third is snapshot. So to define state, we'll have to define a type called app state, very similarly to the way we defined app props. It'll have a count, which will be a number. Now, we also want to, let's actually save this and see if TypeScript is happy with that. And you'll see that it is. Of course, we want to uh, initialize state as well. And the way we initialize state in React is like this. And we can give state here a type of app state as well and count will be initialized to zero. Let's go ahead and look at our application now. And you'll see that we have a button that increments and decrements. This is how we type it. Again, first generic type is props, second generic type is state. Nice job, everyone. Let's go ahead and recap exactly what we learned. We have react.fc, which takes in a generic type of p, where p is props. We also learned react.component, which you can see in my current code, takes in, it actually takes in three generic types. The snapshot will save for another video where we do component lifecycle, but the ones that you want to worry about is p and s, where P is uh, props and S is state. And these are all types here. So it's props, types, and state types. Types are uh, defined as highlighted. However, for more information on that, you want to learn TypeScript altogether. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope this was of value to you. I hope you can now go ahead and use React with TypeScript and simple components. If you liked the video, please click subscribe please click thumbs up, please share on Twitter. You can tweet at me, at Arian Jabari. The Twitter account will be in the description below, as well as a links to the uh, type declarations for React. Have a great night, everyone. Have a great week. Have a great year. Peace.